Hi all. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the data cleaning exercise in the industry's favorite tool, Excel. So uh, for today's exercise, uh, we do have a we do have a sample data set, which is the largest uh, city population data set available in from downloaded from Wikipedia. So the uh, different columns which are available for this today's exercise are uh, the city name, the country to which it belongs to, the population estimate, and uh, the split of city, metropolitan and urban areas, population and corresponding areas and densities. So let us perform few of the Excel operations to clean the data. Few of the things which we are going to uh, deal with today are uh, removing unnecessary characters, changing the uh, data formats, uh, the trim function in Excel, and deletion of rows based on blank spaces and pivot table creations and ratios, calculating ratios. So let's quickly jump into a uh, step-by-step -step process. So uh, let's take the column B where we identified that uh, the word more is appended for most of the uh, countries towards the end. So we can remove this particular word at one go using find and replace in Excel. So the shortcut to open the find and replace window is control H and the find and replace window opens up. So what are we planning to find here? More and replace with none because I don't want any character to be replaced. Let's say if I'm giving the value of more one, what happens is in this column at 69 places, the more is getting replaced with more one as seen here. So for now, let me delete this additional characters, which I don't want in my column name. So I'm finding more one and replacing it with none. And there we go. So all the additional characters are remote at the end of the uh, it at the end of each of the country's name. So and also in this particular data set, which is downloaded, the uh, numbers with respect to the population or area or density they are present as a text. We can convert them into numbers at one go by selecting all the columns. And from this drop down menu at the top, I can just select number. So as seen, all the uh, text columns, which we wanted them as numbers, got converted to numbers at one go. So now let's talk about something called the trim function. To explain uh, how trim function works, let me take column D. We do have few entries where there is a hyphen between the words. For example, city hyphen state or uh, sub underscore provisional, etc. So let me uh, make the data a bit dirty for column D. Let me find hyphen and replace it with uh, hyphen followed by uh, three spaces. Replacing all at 18 places, we have replaced it. So as seen now, city hyphen, there is three spaces inserted for state, city uh, hyphen three spaces for province. To remove all these additional spaces at one go, we can use trim function. So let me create a new column where I'm uh, selecting and selecting insert. Uh, let me give the name as uh, new underscore city underscore uh, proper. So for this, all I'm doing is this function called trim. And you select this particular value. It's done. So now let me drag this for all the cell values. And as seen here, the city hyphen uh, where I have given three spaces for the state now has been reduced to one. It will retain that one additional space for each of the things which are given. And it will reduce the unnecessary additional spaces which are given in between. So that is the functionality of trim function. And Moving on to the next step, how can we identify all the uh, blank cells at one go in a particular column 
and we can delete all the rows which are having blank at one go. So to you find that we use something called the find and select option, which is available here. So let me select uh, the column D and go for find and select. Let me go to go to special. So in this go to special, let me select blanks because that is what we are interested in. So the moment I select blanks, it will highlight what are all the blank cells which are available in that column D. For example, the column D row number 20, there's a blank value and it would have highlighted other blank cells as well as seen here, 65, 66, 67 and 70 are all blank cells. So at one go, we can right click on top of them because the blank cells are already selected. And the moment I press delete, it gives me the option to delete only the blank cells or the entire rows itself. So the moment if I'm selecting entire rows, around uh, the uh, four uh, blank cells which we had showcased, those rows entirely are deleted. So let me uh, do an undo where we got back the cells. So that's the functionality of uh, find and replace, uh, which we have showed in the initial part where we removed more and how to change the format of a particular uh, column values, how to use trim functions to reduce or uh, delete additional spaces which came in and uh, deletion of rows based on the blank cells.